I wonder if Kevin McCarthy has ever read the book The Picture of Dorian Gray. And if he did, did he recognize in the pages his own reflection? In the past few days, Kevin McCarthy has been in the news with a vengeance for all the wrong reasons. This all stems from McCarthy's stunningly incompetent decision to hand the January 6th footage off to Tucker Carlson. Kevin has put people's lives in danger. What he's done is so shockingly awful that even many television media pundits can't believe it. And now he's fundraising off of it. Patriot, you deserve the facts, all of the facts, Dorian Gray says in a fundraising email. One wonders if this was part of Kevin's odious deal with the devil, also known as Marjorie Taylor Greene. I have released the full 44,000 hours of uncut camera surveillance footage, Dorian's email goes on. This is most definitely not something to brag about, and the fallout has been harsh for the cowering McCarthy. We made a commitment to America, a commitment to you, when we asked for your vote last fall. The only commitment this man has ever made is to himself, his own sniveling and cowardly self. A commitment to all America requires truth and transparency over partisan games. Would you consider chipping in $25, $50, or $100 to help? Dorian Gray's personality is described as ruthless, cynical, and like a moth to a flame. McCarthy is no different. It's like Dorian Gray has stepped out of one's imagination and up to the house gavel. McCarthy has endangered the lives of many with this utterly awful, emotionally bankrupt move. He will go down in the history of the Dorian Gray of politics, the Benedict Arnold of the House of Representatives, and a laughingstock to everyone.